Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 27th of 2024 is titled Supernova Remnant Semis 147. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the remnant of a supernova, a star that exploded tens of thousands of years ago and is sometimes more popularly called the Spaghetti Nebula for its twisted filaments that scatter among the material here. Now a supernova remnant like this occurs at the end of the life of a massive star and that star has expanded and contracted and it's become unstable and essentially what it's doing in the center is building up heavier and heavier elements. Our sun fuses hydrogen into helium. More massive stars as they go through their hydrogen will then fuse helium into carbon and then oxygen and neon and so on up the periodic table to element 26 which is iron. Now iron is the last element that can be created through nuclear fusion that actually gives you energy. Trying to fuse iron atoms together actually takes energy. And that's when the star becomes unstable. It builds up this core of iron, which is under tremendous pressures and more material is constantly being added to it as as fusion continues to occur around that core, which compresses it and heats it up. And eventually there's enough energy for fusion to take place to fuse that iron. But as it does, it takes energy out of the core, which cools it off, which compacts it down more, which causes more material and increase in the in the temperatures. And it becomes a runaway and the whole star essentially implodes and then rebounds back outward, expelling material out into space, which is what we're seeing in all of these filaments here. And that material will continue to expand outward. Now this is what we call a narrow band image. We're looking at very specific wavelengths that are caused by the emission of hydrogen, which we see in the red, and oxygen, which we see in the blue. And you can see that the oxygen is concentrated in certain portions of this nebula. That does not mean that those are all oxygen. That means that those are the right regions where the oxygen is able to be excited and glow. So it tells us something about the uh, what's going on in those portions of the nebula. Now what will continue to happen here? Well, this will continue to expand outward. Eventually, it will expand large enough and lose enough energy that it will just become dark. And that material will then disperse out into space. It is enriched in heavier elements. So things like the iron that formed in the core and other heavier elements, which are being expelled back out here to form the seed material for future generations of stars, maybe hundreds of millions of years from now. Now, one of the interesting things with the supernova like this is what happens at the core. That core compressed down under extremely high pressures and becomes what we call a neutron star. A neutron star is essentially a material compressed as close together as atomic matter can be. Electrons get squeezed into the nucleus and become part of the combined with the protons forming neutrons. So you have a gigantic ball of neutrons. So you can have an object that is several times the mass of our sun compressed down to the size of a city. And when those spin rapidly, we actually see them as pulsars as we do in this case. So that was our picture of the day for February 27th of 2024. It was titled Supernova Remnant Semis 147. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be how night falls. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.